Wong Tanov Log, Ron Johnson, life coach, motivational speaker. I'm here to inspire you, motivate you. You know you have a choice and you can be anything you want in this world. So today's topic is going to be about how to change your thought process when you're stuck. And that's probably the, the biggest thing that we don't know what to do is how to reframe our thoughts. If you have a thought of negative or a thought of positive, whatever you deem to be negative or positive, you get stuck, stuck in that thought pattern over and over again. All these things that could be happening. Obviously, everything can be going wrong. But more importantly, what's not going right? But more importantly is how to get yourself out of there. When you're stuck in a, a negative thought process, how the hell do you get out of there? Obviously, we never talk about when you're stuck in a positive thought process, how to get out of that. But we're definitely always talking about how to get out of negative thought process or patterns. It's very important that when you're stuck in a thought process that makes you feel tired, makes you feel exhausted, makes you feel as though you don't know what to do, concern, anxiety, depression, lethargy, apathy, I can go on and on about that. What it does, it creates certain vibrational patterns into your body. And easy way to explain that is that what you thought, what you think is what you attract. Very, very simple. If I think a certain way, I'm gonna attract a certain way. So it's important that when you enter the thought process, first thing is let it come up. What are you thinking about? Why is it happening? And what to do about it? Those feelings come up. Emotional feelings as, uh, do I feel pain? Am I feeling fear? Am I feeling uncertainty? Am I anxiety? Am I excited? What's really happening? Okay, then you say to yourself, why is this happening? Okay, if my thought process is I'm having fear, what, why is it happening and what's important about fear? Okay, I'll give you a perfect example. If the fear five years ago, which was, if I quit my full-time job to start a business, okay, the fear was what I'm going to do, how I'm pay my bills, if I'll be able to survive, what will last past 90 days, the list went on and on and on. It was important that I realized right then and there that I was attracting more and more negative things and thought processes in my life. And I had to get out of that thought process because it was just not what I wanted to. I wanted to quit my full-time job. I wanted to become a full-time personal trainer and help and coach those out there that need help physically. Okay? So what I started realizing is that, okay, what if I write down 10 things that can go wrong, I would start writing down 10 things that go right. Before you knew it, the five things that were going to go wrong, let's say, I won't be able to survive, I won't I'll lose money, um, I won't find clients. I mean, it was only four or five things, okay, not even 10. When I start thinking about what can go right, okay, I can learn something new, I'm independent, I have my free time, I can be creative, I meet wonderful people, I'm in charge of my own income, I can work many hours I want to or less. Oh my God, this is going on and on. So right then, I start reframing my thought process. Well, if so many things can go right, why am I so worried about what can go wrong? Obviously, there's gonna be trials and relations along the way, but I start reframing my mindset of thinking, okay, I wrote down this paper, Broken half, positive, boom, negative. Wrote down four things. Before I know it, the positive was superseding the negative. Before I know it, I was like, like this. So right then and there, I know it was the right thing to do. And that's how you frame certain thought process. Let them come up. Don't always subdue your thought process. Don't always say, well, I feel fear, let it down, push it down. That feeling will still be there, right? It's like, if flood is coming in, you try to put flood bags back to keep it from flooding, eventually flood bags, the flood water over supersedes the flood bag and it pours right in. Those feelings that you don't talk about or ask questions, or ask the why question, or what question will continue to show up. And every time they show up, it'll be different forms and different fashions, okay? So by letting them come up, identify them, let them know they're there, acknowledge it first, because you have to do that. It allows you to make a decision how to change it right then and there. Acknowledging your thought process and change your vibrational patterns. So when I went from, well, this can, well, this good things can happen, I quit, I moved on. And you can do the same thing too. If you're stuck in a certain thought process or pattern, you too can reframe your thought process because inherently you only want to think about survival and what's happening now. You don't want to think about how to get out of it, how to reframe your thought process. There's a lot of positive things going around you because always think about this. If it's down, it has to go back up. And if it's good, it has to go back down. So things in life always go up and down. You know that. So now if you're feeling bad, know eventually things will get better and become better. 
So thanks for watching another Ron Johnson, life coach, motivational speaker. Hope you got inspired. Hope you know you have a choice and that if you reframe your mindset, you will change vibrational patterns. Self-care is always important and self-care does not include physical. It includes the mind, it includes the body, it includes spirituality and friends, family, and everything around you. So don't forget at the end, click subscribe, comment below, let me know how you feel, ask questions. I'm always here for you and guess what? You can do anything you want in this world. You have the power.